For some women, nothing would do but that they should join the military itself. About 350,000 women did just that during the war. They joined the Women's Army Corps, the WACs, the Navy, through the WAVES, which translates into Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Service, and the WASPs, Women's Air Service Pilots, as well as the Coast Guard and the Marines in smaller numbers. Of the women who joined, all were single. Married women were excluded from all these units, as was any woman with children. Women who were suspected of pregnancy were immediately drummed out. And there was rampant persecution of lesbians. All women who joined the military were suspected of being sexually deviant in the language of the day. And so, if one were actually discovered to be a lesbian, one was immediately drummed out of the service. Until 1943, the Women's Army Corps didn't admit black women at all. And when they finally did, they were segregated. The WAVES admitted women of color in 1944. But because so few African-American women joined, they were not segregated at all. Neither the Coast Guard nor the Marines adopted a policy of non-discrimination against women of color. The WASPs admitted only women who already had pilot's licenses. Among them were two Mexicans, two Chinese, and one African American who was asked to resign in order to avoid problems of integration. From the beginning, men and women received startlingly differential treatment. Women generally worked in positions where they could not give orders to men. Until late 1943 and early 1944, they were prohibited from going overseas at all. None of these women in the end got the rewards from which GIs benefited. Though they engaged in and often fulfilled dangerous missions, they were treated as auxiliaries, both while they served and afterwards. Assigned to clerical tasks and supply missions and sometimes to organize entertainment, they served within the United States until 1944, when representatives and the wax and the waves went abroad. About a thousand women served in the WASPs, the Women's Air Service Pilots. These women flew commercial and Air Force transport planes that resupplied soldiers in bases within and outside the United States. Their jobs were sometimes dangerous. Some 37 women died while serving in the WASPs. Their families bore the expenses of returning their bodies home and burying them. None was given military honors and none of the women who served in these auxiliary capacities got veterans' benefits until hard-fought congressional legislation belatedly provided some rewards to a few.